In this video, I cover replacing the fuselage on a Quantum Nova. Let's travel now to the shop and see the project in progress. All right, so we've got the landing skids right side up. We're just gonna unscrew those. Before we do that, I have to untape the antenna there, and then I'll take off my uh, GoPro mount there as well. So just gonna start taking all the parts and pieces off. Really not too bad a job. The main thing is that once we get it all put back together that we have verified all electrical components are not damaged and reinstalled properly. So that's pretty much it. What a mess. <laughs> okay, well, I have all the screws out. Let's see what it looks like. We're gonna lift this top half off. Now if you notice that GPS sensor is still attached, so we're gonna have to get that loose. Let's look inside. Maybe not too bad. Uh, hopefully the body took most of the hit, so let's continue disassembling and uh, see what we have. Okay, I got it. So it was fairly easy. I just used my small screwdriver here and I pried against the plug and got it out. It actually took quite a bit of force, more than I, I would think it would should, um, which is good in case the thing wrecks or has problems, it won't come unplugged in inadvertently. So um, anyway, I got it disconnected. Now it's time to take the top off. We'll just use a screwdriver for that, like so. I plan to reuse this component. The other one has it. Um, I believe that'll work itself off there. Let me work on that. There's another one. screw under there that's holding this together. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut the hot glue that's securing that. Notice it also has a uh, dampening pad there. So I need to make sure I try to save that. Then I'm going to pull that GPS sensor off of it. So pretty self-explanatory. Just got to be careful not to damage All it. All right, there it is. So uh, it came right off. Half the uh, hot glue actually wasn't even holding it. So uh, I'll probably put some more double-sided tape on it when I reinstall it. Uh, make it good as new or probably actually better than new. So that takes care of the top now it's time to work on the bottom all right now that i got everything apart we're just going to start going around component by component checking everything to make sure it's not damaged so we're going to go around check all the wiring we're going to tug on it slightly with a pair of tweezers to make sure there's no loose wires um you can see some dirt or something down in there we're going to make sure everything's clean uh, we're going to check the inside of the motors to make sure they're good, make sure they turn freely. Uh, we're going to clean them. You can see some particles right there. Uh, so anyway, that's the next step. When I am happy that everything looks good, I will then transfer the components to the new body. Through my inspection, I just noticed something. Look at that, and then look at that. Do you notice something wrong? Yep, there's no capacitor right here. Looks like it's been broken off. So, I gotta figure out how to fix that problem. That's really unfortunate. I may have to get a new speed control or I may try to solder a new capacitor on there. I'm not sure yet. you want to do before you really tear into something is take some good photos so you can reference back on how wires were routed or where particular items go um, so it looks like the only noticeable bad part is a speed controller has lose lost the uh, capacitor it goes on the end there so I will order a new one of those so it's going to delay me a little bit on getting this finished but 
we'll go ahead and uh, start transferring all the parts over to the new shell now. So we'll just go bit by bit. We got everything loosened up. I got the aircraft oriented the same way. And I have my motor plates already installed here. They're just sitting in there. Also, I have the little lenses for the lights. So we're just going to pick up. See if you can see that. We're just going to pick up the whole guts of the thing. Got a Fisher antenna through there. Pick up the whole guts. Try to support it as best you can. Oh, I missed one thing. I gotta get my switch loose there. Right, I got the switch loose. It's actually not a switch, it's the port for the USB. So we're just gonna pick all that up carefully. And there we go. Into the new fuselage. So that's it. So now I just have to work with that and get it all oriented correctly. Um, one thing you'll notice is it has some pads in here for the battery to ride on, cushion that. So I'll go ahead and try to get them out. I'll probably use a heat gun and, and warm them up so they'll peel out and then I'll stick them in the new one. Well, there it is. All installed in the new frame or new fuselage. So I still have some open items. I have to get a new speed control, let's see, to replace the one that's missing the capacitor, which is right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and order that. I could try to get a new capacitor for it, but I looked online, it looks like it's 14 bucks for the speed control, I'm just gonna buy it. Um, that way I know for sure it's good and works. The other thing is I gotta finish hooking up my leads here that broke loose. So I'll do that next time with the soldering iron. And uh, other than that, it looks pretty good. Then of course I have to reconnect my GPS sensor. So I'd say we're at least 50% there on getting it rebuilt. So pretty exciting. It looks pretty good, a little better shape than I thought it would be. So uh, until next time, it's Project King Videos. We'll uh, continue this project on the ne next episode, so uh, please join me for that, and we'll do a little soldering. Be well, and have a good day.